Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you a basics of parametric modeling in FreeCAD um, using a part design workbench with spreadsheet. Spreadsheet it is something like a table like in Excel, Microsoft Excel software. And part design is this is the workbench for creation as 3D models um, parts. So um, what does mean a uh, parametric model in FreeCAD? So, if um, you know uh, the 3D models, we can to describe s using some parameters. For example, if we use the some box, we can to describe this uh, rectangle using two parameters. The first parameter will be width or length p1 and another parameter will be p2 so and if you will paste uh, change this p1 or p2 to some real numbers you will get your rectangle with physical um, width and physical length length so um, the second part if you will save these parameters to some table, for example, in spreadsheet in FreeCAD, we will have some spreadsheet and the first column we use the name of parameters. And here to second column, we can to paste uh, something like a value of these parameters. For example, for first parameter will be 10 this will be 20 millimeters and you if you will change these parameters to 5 it will change these parameters uh, here of your model and will change your model and the new box will be have this lens is new P P1 okay so this meaning what does mean a parametric model in FreeCAD and I will show you an example how you can realize this uh, example in FreeCAD using the part design workbench with spreadsheet so uh, let's start with FreeCAD open a FreeCAD and go to first part design workbench here in part design workbench we have to create a body create a model you can start it with create body here or you can to create body from this menu bar let's use this and after that let's change this to model tasks to model and here we have our body in tree yeah we have the some default uh, parameters of body it's axis and planes coordinate it, it will be a global coordinate system of our body so in in this body uh, we have to create a, some um, 3d model for example i will create a plate with some step it will be uh, looking like this uh, icon so let's create sketch let's use some um, a base plane for our uh, sketching and let's create the rectangle on this 2d plane and how can you see our plane is um, can um, describe it any parameters what which we want for example if you will choose this line and set this uh, constraint for vertical line you can set for example 50 millimeters and if you will change this it will be changed also of rectangle so let's uh, paste here in 50 millimeters let's choose this line and set this constraint or horizontal line here 
Okay, the some basics of uh, creation of 2D sketches here. And uh, after that, we just to uh, make a link between these uh, constraints and spreadsheet parameters. So let's uh, create uh, initially 3D model. Let's close this sketch and you will get this sketch here. And after that, let's create a sketch. Well, let's create a 3D model of a plate. We will be using the length uh, 10 millimeters, the default value. Press OK. And after that, let's choose this surface and create one else sketch on this surface. Um, so now um, we have to link our uh, second. Uh, 3D model with our plate. It means that we have to make something like importing from our 3D model of a line which linked with our 3D geometry. And after that, we can to create a rectangle using these two points for example, or this initial point with this line. And this line is linked with our external 3D, 3D model geometry. And if you will try to change uh, the shape of our rectangle, you can see that we, have, we, can, to, we can change only um, in one uh, direction. It's a one degree of freedom for our rectangle we have here. So let's set some random position, choose this line and set a constraint for this rectangle and set 50 millimeters. Maybe let's set 14 because we have the 50 for this and we will be using another value. So let's close the sketch and choose the sketch. And after that, let's create one else extrusion and set here 20 millimeters of height. Let's press OK and you will get uh, that you have this model. Uh, but um, if you want to merge these surfaces, for example, be, be, and delete this edge, we can to use and also we have these edges around our box. If you perform this operation, it's called refine in part design here in the tree. Click true, choose it. Click on the screen. You can see that we have emerged um, surfaces for our, uh, these uh, two faces. So now uh, our 3D model looks correctly. And so let's um, go to spreadsheet and create the parameters which we want to use for describing of our 3D model here. Let's go to workbenches and choose the spreadsheet. Click it. Click here, create a spreadsheet. And now how can you see in the tree we have one spreadsheet. And here we have this some table empty table and we can to paste here any any what we want it can be charts or integers or float values type of data let's delete it and let's create the parameters let's set some number of parameters here uh, initially we set for example four parameters and here we want to set the values so how can you see the names of parameters we set p1 p2 p3 p4 but it's uh, we cannot to remember what does mean these parameters in our 3d model it means that we have to use the mnemonic um, describing of parameters for example i use p1 underscore and we can Called it like weeds. 
will be 50 millimeters. Here we will be using length and will be 100 millimeters for P3. It will be yeah. it will be height. I will set um, one uh, char. So we can also set here not full name because if we called it um, um, using the one uh, char, the first um, it means that we have the, some very short uh, name of our parameters here. So let's for height set 10 millimeters and um, for the four parameters let's set one else parameters it will be the width 2 for our second step width of our 3D model and also we have there something like height 2 yeah we have now 40 millimeters and for height 2 we have 20 millimeters. So this is all parameters which we want to use for describing our 3D model using these values. For if you want to uh, connect these uh, uh, parameters from spreadsheet to 3D model, let's go to um, again to Sketcher for example and here we have these constraints if you will from double click for this dimension here you can see the lens and this uh, enter an expression here we have the expressions and if you will paste here a spreadsheet it's a uh, name uh, from our tree and uh, we can to link it using for example a2 in a2 we have this um, name p2 length but for value we have uh, in b2 it will be a link to spreadsheet with this value press click ok press ok and now our uh, this value of a box will link with spreadsheet b2 and this value b2 b1 will be 50 b1 we can set here click enter expression here press a spreadsheet point b1 link to spreadsheet click ok and also you can optionally uh, call it like uh, some describe describing of parameter but i don't use it now okay press ok and let's close the sketch and now if you change this one of these parameters or both of these parameters let's press here something like 200 you can see uh, our geometry for the model is changed also Let's return it to 50 millimeters. If you will go to the screen of 3D model, you can see it changed again. And also we can change these parameters. For example, we can to increase the length. And how can you see we change this uh, length parameter. Let's paste the default value. And let's link this and other parameters with our 3D model for practice. So let's uh, go to pad. You can also link our parameters from this uh, property view let's choose this length press enter expression and here let's make a link to b3 how i remember yes you can see this b3 is 10 millimeters before will be 40 b3 will be 10 and also if you will change the it will be p3 height if you will change this uh, link from b to a and I will use the bit three with value. Press OK. And how can you see here? Our 
value of dimension we have the link to our sorry to our spreadsheet to parameter b3 and value is blue now so let's go to sketch of second um, part second sketch and we won't have to paste the link from spreadsheet here and use repeated previous steps here press e4 okay okay close after that let's go here and let's press here spreadsheet b5 okay so now we have the fully parametric model of this uh, block if you will change for example height of this you can see uh, let's check uh, how works um, our 3D model, parametric 3D model and of course the powerful of this approach is uh, that you can to link this creation of 3D models with for example simulation it can be um, a stress simulation a stress analysis or a CFD analysis it means that you can to change this um, parameters from spreadsheet and recalculate your simulation with new geometry and it will be working uh, because the topology not changed it means that if you have this uh, phase one it will be phase one if you will export it uh, with another parameters here so let's change some parameters we change this uh, height let's change the width maybe this and how can you see we have here very big very small step and you if you will set here a bigger value uh, we can to see that our model works but we have the some reverse step for our 3d model because we have uh, the width uh, more than this width this lens sorry for so let's set 50 it will be a half of this thanks so um, you can to save this uh, parametric model like a free cat uh, file for example I'll test save it like free cat document save it and let's close this and uh, let's uh, check that it work if you will open it again how can you see it's downloaded to our free cat again let's change to some parameters and how can you see it works again so it uh, was a something like a basics of parametric modeling in FreeCAD if you, you like it uh, press like and subscribe to the channel and if you want uh, uh, new videos about this uh, for more difficult models maybe for assemblies for sheet metals or combination spreadsheet with another workbenches uh, uh, post it in comments I will read it and prepare new videos. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, goodbye.